Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This has been a video that has taken me a really long time. Um, it's actually embarrassing how long it's taken me. Not because that it has to take that long. This process is not that tedious. It's a little tedious. I started back in 2017 and I just kept working at it like a little bit at a time. So finally, 2020, it's been uh, a minute. So if you see my manicure changing a lot through the video, now you know why. So many times my friends would ask me, what are you up to? And I said that I'm working on the Gucci jacket and I'm still working on the Gucci jacket. And now I can proudly say that I finished the goddamn Gucci jacket. So this is the beginning of a new series on my channel. I know some of you are familiar with DIY runway. Um, it's something that I did sort of years ago. I sort of took a piece of the runway and DIY'd it. This is gonna be more of like a high beast DIY, more like trendy designer things that people really love that are very expensive and I'm gonna show you how to do them. Um, this is not gonna be a series where I'm gonna knock stuff off. Like I, that's not my intention at all. I don't wanna like, take something and like take away from the designer. What I am going to do is kind of make stuff that's like designer inspired, um, but it's also like original artwork. This is gonna be more of like a calming video, a little bit of an ASMR if you will, a little bit. So grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, and just relax and just watch this little process that it took me apparently three years to complete. Um, and on that note, I will see you in a bit. So let's get started, you guys. I'm gonna use this particular jacket that I've had in my closet, some flat brushes, and you need those in order to do the one-stroke technique, which I'm gonna show you later. And I'm also gonna show you how to use the leather paints. Those are so amazing on leather, also on fabric, but that's another video. So these are amazing. I am gonna put a link down below where you can get those. And moving on, I'm gonna show you how to do the one stroke technique for flowers. Um, so here I'm watching a YouTube video and I encourage you to kind of Google and just find the YouTube videos to teach yourself how to do the one stroke technique. And this is gonna help you a lot with drawing these types of flowers. Now, on the original Gucci jacket, they don't use this technique, but I found that this looks so much better and prettier and cuter. Um, so basically what I'm doing here is loading up the brush with two colors and I'm laying it flat and I'm wiggling the brush and creating the petals one by one. Now the trick to this is you gotta make sure that your brush is very saturated and you wanna make, uh, you wanna do this for um, every like two to three petals and you're gonna get like the hang of it. It, it seems a little complicated, but it's not. Uh, you just have to practice, you guys. So you load up your brush, you do two to three colors and you start with your medium to um, dark to light and you create this beautiful gradient flower and this is me doing it for the first time I was just practicing on a piece of paper so I recommend you do that first before you start it on the jacket I'm scared to move too fast or move too so this whole first part of the video, personally for me, um, was like a big trial and error thing because I have never used leather paints before. And the first thing that I want to tell you, which is something that I had to learn, is to do a little bit of a white coat before you paint. So you're going to use the same technique and um, do the one stroke brush technique, but make sure that you lay like a really nice white coat paint coat underneath the flowers so that way your colors pop so much more because the black underneath the colors just kind of like sucks up the color it works well for those flowers but when you do the pink and white it does make a huge difference so you can see here i did a coat first and then i went to paint the flowers next and honestly, I wanted to show you like my technique improved so much from doing this later. These were just like my first ones. They're like my little like reject flowers. But the point of doing artwork is that you cannot stop. Everything is part of the process and you have to just accept it. If you make a mistake, you have to keep going and it's all going to be part of one big beautiful piece. Now, I didn't really want to copy the jacket like 100% the same. I kind of wanted to have my own twist on it, which is why I did the flowers the way that I did. And I think it turned out really cute. To be honest, the original art on the jacket looked a little bit sloppy, but it kind of, to me still, when I looked overall at it, it looked insane. So I really tried to pay attention to the details and um, I, I really liked the end result. Um, yeah. For the leaves, I'm just applying the green paint and I'm also using darker green and brown to kind of create shading around it.
So this is how I was working. I would just kind of lay my colors down to see how they looked um, and make it easier for mixing. And then here I'm just painting the little bumblebee. And I was just kind of having fun with it. I was using the photo for reference. It's nothing exact. Painting is not an exact science or art. So you just have to have fun with it. And if it doesn't look good, you can just paint over it. The beauty of these leather paints is that you can layer quite a bit and they're not gonna crack. So they're really nice. So for the big daddy, we're gonna paint the snake. Um, definitely recommend doing a white layer underneath so your colors really pop and look really amazing. Also to guide myself with an outline, I used a bit of a pen, like a regular graphite pencil to draw underneath. You can't see it, but it does help me a lot. I am not skilled enough to just paint straight with paint. So I always draw a little bit of an outline. And here I'm going to fill in my snake as nice as I can. This doesn't have to be perfect because remember, you are going to be painting over it. And even if you see a little bit of the outline coming through, um, you are going to outline this with black. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I really, really hope you guys give this a try and you actually try to do this project because even though it might seem intimidating, it really is not. It is so much fun to do and it looks so beautiful and these paints are so great. They really work for you. By the way, this is not sponsored. So here I'm just adding the lines to the snake and again, just following the picture for reference. Oh, and here I'm using a little net to add the little, the pattern on the snake. Uh, so I kind of dipped it in paint. I didn't film this part. I dipped it in paint and I stamped it on the snake. I wasn't too obsessed with this technique. So I just decided to kind of draw some of the crisscross patterns myself, uh, but it does work. If you want like a quick fix, you can just kind of stamp it on. We're gonna add some shadows. This was so much fun to make, like, oh my god. Laying there beside him, I hope you crack a smile and think He's no competition He's no competition when you're with him His touch, his kiss, your name on his lips so here I'm gonna outline the snake and it's gonna look so nice in the end. So any mistakes that you have, the outline is gonna take care of that. Then um, the jacket, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just adding like the blue little outlines. Um, and then look how much better these new flowers look. I feel like I've kind of practiced more so they look a little bit better, especially this one, I'm obsessed. I feel like the more you do this technique, the better you're gonna get at it. You, you kind of have to really practice to feel how much paint you need on the brush. Uh, also how much, like how often you need to add more paint. So really the answer to this is to practice. Like at first, if it looks like doo-doo, like that's normal, but you have to add more. Like look at those nice sort of like gradient looking effects. Like that, was, that, that did not happen to me in the first few, like you saw that. And I specifically wanted to show you my failed flowers just so you can see how much better it looked when I practiced a little bit more. I was so excited to draw um, the flowers that weren't like the more repeating flowers. So this was fun because there were so many roses and this one was like a poppy seed flower. I was like, yay, I get to draw something new and something fun. Um, and this one, I just kind of did like too many steps. So it could have been so much easier. But you guys, literally the best advice, just look at the photo and try to recreate it as best as you can. And also take your time. Don't rush it. When you draw something from reference, you cannot rush it. As long as you take your time and you pay attention to detail, I believe in you that you can make this happen and you can create a beautiful work of art. So I added a few highlights, then again contoured and outlined, and voila, look at that. So we're gonna add some more stems 
details i believe there's like a few more leaves that i decided to add at this point it was all very repetitive and i was so excited to be done with painting this <laughs> So here I decided to add my own initials and this is kind of difficult to do with paint. Um, usually with detailed work you have to have like a very fine brush and um, it does take a lot of like meticulous attention to detail to try to do it right but if you really take your time and kind of like wiggle the tails very thin and add it like don't rush it you are going to be able to do the lettering correctly so for the finishing touches i am adding the blue outlines just like the original jacket Okay, so for the studs, I picked these up in downtown LA, but I'm gonna link them uh, down below on Amazon. And wow, this was such a pain in the ass. I have never worked with studs before, so I tried to kind of like poke it through. It wasn't poke it through. Um, I wanted to show you anyway the whole process. So the best way that I found is to use a tweezer and kind of push it and poke things through. Still, what a nightmare. That took me like several days to complete that whole thing. So the next, where the jacket was too thick, I decided to fold the studs, kind of fold the little like prickly needles, and then use E6000 glue to glue them in. And I promise you that has stayed put. That was the best solution that I found. And if you do not want to poke holes in your jacket, E6000 glue works amazing. And now we are at the finish line. Oh my God, I cannot believe we are done. And there it is, my labor of love. Um, all these studs, I've had this jacket for like a while now, I've had the studs for a while now, they're all staying, nothing is coming off, even the ones that I glued back. However, as a thank you for supporting me and loving me, um, I'm gonna give this away to one lucky subscriber. This is a All Saints jacket. It is a very nice jacket. I believe it was like $800 and, um, I mean, that's not the point. I think the artwork is where it's at, but it is a nice jacket. And this is a size zero. So if you wanna win this jacket, either for yourself, if it doesn't fit you, um, you wanna give it to a friend. So the rules are very simple. Make sure that you give this video a like and leave me a comment letting me know why you would like this jacket. Um, also along with your IG handle so I can message you if you win because I can't actually physically message you on YouTube. I would be so happy if one of you guys had this Oh my God, I'm so excited. And lastly, I have one question for you. Uh, I'm gonna do the series where I'm gonna do like, I'm thinking like off-white shoes, Dior, Gucci inspired DIYs, like a lot of really cool sort of like high beastie stuff, but I don't have a title for the series. Like I was thinking of something like hype DIY or DIY hype beast, but then like, I don't wanna put another brand in the title. Anyway, let me know if you have any ideas. I would really, really appreciate them. And on that note, I love you guys. I will see you in my next video.